I have been thinking about getting another antenna up in the air at the QTH. I particularly want to get a better antenna for 80 metres and possibly 40. Uh, so this video is about me uh, trying out a doublet for the first time. Hope you find it interesting. I've already got uh, an antenna down the right hand side of the garden to this tree uh, and various ground mounted options. So the plan is to get a wire up to the left hand part of the tree and run down the left hand side of the garden. And regardless of which antenna I want to put up, I need to get a line through the tree while it's still got no leaves on. Uh, so I use this catapult, a bolt and some thin fishing line. And once I've got it over the, the desired branch, which, which is easy said than done, I then pull through this 6mm polypropylene rope. And I make a full loop so I can always lower the antenna, uh, but still keep hold of the rope to pull it back up again. So after lots of garden measuring, sketching, uh, even a bit of Pythagoras theorem to figure out a, a height of, a, of an insulator, I plumbed for a 135 foot doublet, uh, which is a, a recommended length according to internet wisdom. Now a doublet is a, a non-resonant dipole and it can be made multi-band with the aid of a tuner. Um, I don't actually have a tuner of my own, so I borrowed the club's tuner. In fact, I borrowed the club's doublet as well, uh, so I could try out uh, whether it works or not before investing in my own equipment. So the first thing to do was just to uh, tidy up the, the borrowed doublet. I've cut it so each leg is 67 and a half feet. Uh, I attached new insulators and I've also uh, put on a rubbing strip of uh, hose pipe. Uh, because the doublet is going to go over the top of the roof and touch the ridge tiles. You can see here the actual uh, antenna wire is a, a twist of what looks like nylon and, and wire. So with lots of measuring and careful planning so things were done in the right order in the right place uh, I attached you can see here the front of the doublet to a hedge at the front of the house. The insulator is about four meters off the ground uh, it goes over the ridge via a rubbing strip uh, and that front part of the antenna won't move and then conveniently as planned the uh, feeder drops down to the shack behind the house and then the main half uh, goes across uh, to the tree um, and it's the tree side that has a counter weight so as the tree moves uh, the weight bobs up and down uh, and takes the strain. So this is the one-to-one -one choke pattern that I built in the previous video and this is attached uh, to the doublet 450 ohm ladder line and a short run of RG213 uh, back to the tuner. So as it's a trial I've just got the feeder running through the wind at the moment and you can see here it just drops down conveniently at the back of the house uh, which is part of the design because I didn't want feeder in the middle of the garden if I could help it. There's lots of uh, information online about doublets and it's through research that I uh, decided to go for this 135 foot version for 80 metres and above. Tuning of a doublet uh, can be helped by varying the length of ladder line and there's various uh, theories on how to do this. This table shows four of six lengths that I used starting uh, with the length that it came with because it's a borrowed antenna, uh, cutting it short so it was conveniently the same length for the shack. Uh, and then extending to very long versions uh, trying to find a tune and you can see here how I had mixed results. And this table shows for the four lengths I used this was with the rig tuner only so not that external tuner. Uh, no tune at all on 80 which I was expect uh, and some mixed uh, results uh, across the bands for the different lengths. Green is uh, as it says okay dark green is a really good uh, tune uh, possibly without needing a tuner and the amber uh, where possibly you've got a good tune uh, but receive levels were low so uh, uh, mixed results uh, and uniform result across uh, 80 meters which you would expect and here we have some of the results uh, with using the external tuner remembering i'm after 80 meters and hopefully 40 everything else will be a bonus uh, you can see 80 is okay on uh, the shorter shack length of feeder uh, but then I lose 40 uh, and then I can get an okay tune on 80 on the other lengths of feeder uh, but only on the lower part of the band uh, I can't get 
uh, a, a reasonable tune higher up, which was uh, was a bit baffling. Uh, but you can see the results across the band, mixed results again. So it was a borrowed antenna and a borrowed tuner and I specifically took that approach so I could try out a doublet before investing in a tuner myself in whatever form that would take. Uh, but I think jury's out so I'm now going to try a mono band dipole and perhaps a fan dipole uh, for those low bands. Uh, so watch out for part two. If you like the channel please subscribe, hit the bell and you'll be notified when new videos are released. 73.